Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. Yes. Aren't they pretty? My pets. They like the smell of power I exude. They know their master. I harnessed true power when I struck down my master, Quatra. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. <sighs> what is it you want? Why do you bother me? The Council has sent you here to kill me. Why then, when you bested me so easily, did you not simply finish your task? Is it not apparent that I can never be saved? You do not? I am pathetic. I sit here and thank myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the Council ever take me back with what I've done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. I show them I am free of passion, that I am serene, that I am willing to forsake the dark side. And maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I've done? I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. I have spoken to the Council, and they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself, and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. Quatra's methods may seem strange, but I trust her wisdom. This lesson has been difficult, but I am better because of it. Humility is never easy to teach, but now I truly understand my own limitations. You can't expect to get everything handed to you on a silver platter. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You, back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy, and she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training, though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. First the Jedi trick you into becoming an enemy, then they welcome you back as a friend. I, I can't say I approve of their training methods. Giving you a second chance like this is a clear sign of weakness. Sometimes I find it hard to believe the Jedi could defeat my people in battle. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force 
and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. The Council has decreed you may...